Holy fuck. John Wick, Chapter 2. I can't believe it's as good as it is. Now, I had an initial fear that John Wick, Chapter 2 would sort of take the Taken route. The first film in the Taken series was commendable, it was enjoyable, and it was a fun time. The second one was a piece of shit that was totally unnecessary. So John Wick Chapter 2 wasn't necessary. If anything, while it does tie into the events of the first film, it is its own story. A thing that my friends said that was actually a really good comparison is that they are a continuation but you can't compare the two they are different in themselves as they are as similar so it's like an episode instead it's like a really long high budget episode in the next episode of John Wick and this one was good admittedly it does not have the same sort of emotional characterization that it did in the first film we don't have that sort of humanity of Keanu Reeves' character the emotional loss of his wife that is, it does come into this film, but is nowhere near as prominent as it was in the first film as such, because that is a story that has come and gone. More so, Keanu Reeves is just a fucking killer machine in this movie again. He's so freaking awesome. The absolute carnage that this film had was nuts. There's a great opening scene, and then we kind of slow down a little bit, and we kind of follow it into the same sort of reminiscent, sort of revenge, total obvious setup scheme that we've seen in a lot of action films of this genre. And even though it does borrow a bunch of cliches we have seen in previous action films, the choreography and the fight scenes make up for it entirely. There is at least one scene involving reloading a shotgun that I actually yelled out, holy fucking shit, is he actually gonna fucking do it? Holy fuck he did. Apologies for all the swearing in this, but it's necessary because I think I said holy fuck at least 40 times throughout this whole movie. Every time that it could, this film brought an action scene that completely blew me away. There was even a funny action scene. A funny shootout. Just like that was probably one of the funniest scenes with guns and people shooting at each other I've seen in a long time. So from a technical standpoint in terms of how the choreography and the action scenes work, this is better than the first one. The first one did have that really cool creative idea of using a guy in a car and just driving around and killing people at the end, and then the nightclub scene. But this, there's just so many scenes. They all are awesome. The first fight scene admittedly starts off a little odd, a little shaky in Rome, and I was kind of worried that they were going to go away from what made the first John Wick so good. It's very great, long, steady shots of action scenes, but then it totally jumped right back into it. The idea of the backstory of the whole world with Continental and everything is again really well worked on but not explaining everything is still giving us this mystery, this interesting world building aspect. The additional characters in this film, Ian McShane is still really awesome. The bad guy, nowhere near as good as the villain from the first film who I really enjoyed. He was a respectable villain. The villain in this one's just a douchebag. Uh, so that was kind of a little bit of an offset and as I said the whole idea of Wick being a character There's a one point where he just goes on a killing rampage and while that was awesome It wasn't until the end of it that I realized that I don't think he had said a word for the last 15 minutes And while that's cool the thing that I liked about the first film is we saw his character going through these hurdles to avenge his wife and we were able to connect with him on a huma human level. In this one, he's a fucking killing machine. He destroys everything in his path. The thing that kind of went on a little bit is that he was taking so much pain and just being able to walk it off. I was kind of a little bit like, it wasn't as dangerous as it was in the first one. He got hurt a lot in the first one. In this one, he gets hurt even more, technically, but he doesn't play it off as well. He's more so a killing machine in it. And again, not really a complaint, but just something that removes us more from the character of John Wick.
Either way though, these are very mild complaints. The film is fantastic, the ending will shock the shit out of you, and I cannot wait for number three. Yes, there's gonna be a third one, and I will be counting the days until that one comes out. I hope you guys go and see it. This was a fun time. It's not as good as the first one to me, in my opinion. It is definitely probably more entertaining than the first one, but as a film structure, it's not as good, so I have to give it a 6 out of 7. It really hurts because I really want to give it a 7 out of 7, but admittedly, just the lack of character elements, that there could have been a little bit more with Wick, and the fact that the villain is just a straight up douchebag, he's not this respectable, very cool villain that we had in the last movie, that's why I put it down to a 6. Either way though guys, go and see this movie. The amount of holy shit moments I had in this film were ridiculous. I'm seeing it again tomorrow, de or technically today, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed this review, I'll see you guys next time.